styling in orthodox and men's sandals. Tommy's going to jab over the top of my hands. The idea is to get my hands up like that. So if he can kind of pop me with that jab, my hands are going to fly up. Then he's got the cross to the solar plexus. Boom, then pin it up. And now he's got that angle again. So it, the body is a bit more vulnerable in these open positions where I'm still kind of opposite him. This side of my body is more vulnerable because of the, his positioning, especially if he gets outside my leg, but he's been jab. Get that crosses, and then pivot up. So I can put the opposite pad um, on my solar plexus to simulate where I want him to hit, and he's going to hit the back of the glove. So he's not going to make me hit full power. If I had a body protector on, he could hit full power. He's choosing his placement, and this allows me to throw back my hand. So this would be my left hand that I want to hit him with as he's hitting me. So he goes jab, cross boom, and he's up. So this could keep it like keep it real now, he, he needs to move his head off the of line because I'm going to be trying to hit him, he needs to get off of this angle to the outside, deliver his punch underneath. Perfect. And I've got to be honest, I've got to keep him honest by throwing it at his head. So as soon as the jab's gone, I'm aiming for him, but it's, it's, aw it's awkward because he's outside, so I'm like punching across myself. It's not how I want to punch. I'm not going to hit the maximum force like this, I want the person in front of me so that I can fully rotate and twist, but he's slightly behind me. So even if I do clip him, it's not the same. It's not going to have the same sort of knockout potential. Give me the jab. I clip him, but skimming off the top of his head, the angle's awkward, I'm very likely to break my hand on him. So the first body shot we're going to look at is the cross to the solar plexus. Especially if I'm turning towards him, because I'm turning, like right now my solar plexus is pointing towards the camera, it's this way. So you won't be able to hit that with a straight punch. But as soon as I start to throw my cross, my solar plexus rotates in and he can land it. Now the solar plexus is small, it's you know quite hard to hit, but if you're in competition against a conditioned athlete, they're gonna have solid abs. You know, good strong intercostal muscles, good lats. So they're going to have good armor. And there's only really two places you can hit them on the body that are really going to affect them, solar plexus and liver. So we're, we're focusing on the solar plexus for this one. So he gets the outside line. I try to hit him. He's already hit me and he's gone. Perfect. So that's the first body shot. Let's look at the second body shot that we can get. Orthodox versus South Poor. Tommy's got his left leg in front, I've got my right leg in front. Once again, it's the back to the outside, so he gets his jab going. Now, I'm going to jab him back, and what he's going to do is he's going to slip his head first and bend his knee. One. And then two is... Oh, that's going to put me down. Because of my stance, it means that my liver side of my body, the right hand side of my body, is further forward. Therefore, it's easier for him to hit from that angle, and it hurts a lot more. The issue with... Orthodox versus orthodox is if Tommy wants to hit me in the liver with his left hand, he's got to go a long way to reach, he's got to like reach around the body to reach it. There's all sorts of opportunities for me to hit him and, and obstruct him. But as I'm a sample, I've now brought my liver closer to him, so he just makes a smaller motion, boom, and he's, he's there. And remember, the liver shot is 45 degrees up underneath the flowing ribs, so try not to hit too high. You want like a couple of inches above, above the hip bone or the short going up into the body to get maximum effect. So he goes jab, slip my jab, and I place the pad here. I place it on my liver so he knows where to hit, and I put the other elbow behind it so it's reinforced. Because otherwise, if he really rips it like this, this will hit me in the head. So liver shot goes here, and then elbows on top, pressing down with it. Now he can rip that up. Harder. <laughs> It's comfy, I'm all right, because I've got it braced. Uh, so just a tip to prevent you getting uh, injured. So, starting on the same line. Tommy takes that outside jab. I'm like, what a great idea, I'm gonna jab him back. He's currently parallel to me, which makes it easy for him to rotate his shoulders. Dip, and then rip. So it's a, it's a dip and rip, and liver shot. Let's put it together. So jab, to the back, slip. Oh, okay. <laughs> that one went well for him. That one did hurt. <laughs> I did feel that 
threw my elbow at the pad. So that's a good sign, because if the elbow and the pad wasn't there, that would be me, me on the floor having a little uh, cry at this point. So a really nice, effective combo is the uh, liver shock against the sack wall. And remember, this applies my way as well. So if I'm the um, sack wall versus the orthodox, if I can get him here, slip his jab, I'm gonna hit his spleen, that's a good point. His spleen is on the left-hand side of his body, um, so it's not quite an effective shot. The spleen's a lot smaller, internal organ is also not as sensitive to impact as the liver. And the liver gets more sensitive to impact the more you drink alcohol because it's having to process all the alcohol, it's getting overworked, it's getting inflamed and it's, <laughs> and it's easier to hit. So if you drink more, you're more likely to be dropped by a body shot. But if you're a fighter, you're probably not drinking that much. So I go jab here, Tommy jabs me back, I slip, and then I've got the spleen shot there. Less effective. May drop him. But it, you know, if you hit the liver shot right, you're pretty much guaranteed to put a lot of people down. So in this instance, the orthodox fighter has the advantage because of the positioning of our internal organs. You can nothing you can do about this. If Tommy gets to the outside of me, he's got access to my liver. If I get to the outside of him, I've got access to his spleen. So actually, in this case, it works better to be the orthodox fighter. And our third option for the body shots against the sound core is to combine the cross and the liver. So Tommy's going to go with the jab, he's going to step out and cross, he's going to hit his liver shot. And I've got to move the pads so I don't get dropped on camera. So he goes jab to the outside, cross to the solar plexus, and then liver shot. So he's really working the body on this one. Getting that dominant angle, getting his head off of line, getting underneath any shots that I'm throwing. Dips underneath this, and then restricts that. And of course, you can go to the head then, you can follow the uppercut. Lots and lots of options. But these two, these two work really well. The step and the dip with the cross followed by the liver shot is a classic combination. One more time, please. So we go jab. On the reverse of the pad, flick it to the outside. Let's do it from this side. So cross, liver, cross, liver. Outside, cross, liver. Nice. Lovely body shot combination.